Hello, and welcome to the second installment of Is Prenatal Sonography Safe? Did you know that nearly 40% of ultrasound units in clinical circulation are defective? This comes from a paper published in 2009 titled High Incidence of Defective Ultrasound Transducers in Use in Routine Clinical Practice. Let me begin by explaining some basics about ultrasound equipment. A diagnostic ultrasound machine has two major parts, the imaging device and a transducer. The imaging device is simply a computer. The transducer is where the ultrasound comes from. They are sensitive pieces of equipment and need to be serviced frequently or else they will become defective. Defective units have lower image quality and this can lead to misdiagnosis or improper measurements. In this study, a 12-year-old girl with heart murmurs did not receive the correct treatment for more than a year because of a defective transducer. Because of poor image quality, sonographers could not detect what her condition was caused by during the first echocardiogram. Only after they replaced the defective device was the problem found. This just goes to show that sonographers are not likely to know that a transducer is defective in the first place. If the image is blurry, they may just try to compensate by turning up the power to get a better picture. This will not always work and, coincidentally, also increases the amount of exposure to the fetus. This problem is very common. According to this study, in a census taken of 32 hospitals, out of 676 transducers total, 39.8% of them were found defective and warranted being replaced. That is nearly half, which is completely unacceptable. The American Institute of Ultrasound in Medicine has attempted to combat this by requiring that equipment maintenance be performed at least once a year in order to keep one's AIUM accreditation. However, follow-up research on this study suggests that even annual maintenance is not enough to ensure that an acceptable number of transducers are working properly. Further, AIUM accreditation is not required to practice sonography in the first place. Most medical practices are not AIUM accredited, and there are a number of private businesses that sell vanity sonogram services as well. It is not likely that these businesses regularly maintain their equipment because it would cut into their profit margins. If you decide to utilize these services, I suggest that you ask for their equipment maintenance records beforehand. If those cannot be provided, then that should speak for itself. Well, I hope that was informative. Thank you very much for your time. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for further videos.